Well, as you can see, Furry is back. He's had quite an adventure. Quite an adventure. You see, um, he was, well, first, he went out to the woods because he was depressed. The coat was depressed on, you know, all the fights we have. He went out to the woods and and there he met his brother and ran with a pack for a while. But then the pack got him with some bad company. And the bad company was a group of thieves and the zombie clown caper was born. We've seen many places. And the zombie clown often took the fur coat with him on his marauding adventures. It could have gotten life in prison for that. But the clown was caught and sentenced. The fur coat received some probation and a slap on the sleeve because it's just a poor fur and didn't know any better. Hmm. Little does, does the judge know, this fur knows better. So that's the misadventures. The director, he did get angry with me when I couldn't produce the fur coat. The chocolate chip cookies helped. And he, um, he did call his brother-in-law the president. And the president came down, shockingly enough, and asked me where the fur coat was. And I, I stalled. I told him, oh, Mr. President, may I please have your autograph? There'd be nothing that would please me so marvelously, wonderfully as having your little old autograph today. And he kind of forgot about the fur coat for a little bit. But then that's when we had word about the capture of the clown. So it really saved me. The capture of the clown made my life better. So... The rocky road relationship with this fur continues. It continues. We will all hopefully live happily ever after, though I can't say the same for, for you. But for the moment, all our problems are solved. The holidays are coming. There's Thanksgiving. There's Christmas. So it's time for peace on earth and goodwill toward men.